We got married May 21st in 2021. My birthday is November 1st, right? She got me a card and it said, you have the biggest heart I know. I saw that card and it was just, that's my husband. That's uh, that heart for other people. And it's still sitting on our sidebar. Yeah. Wow. Did you ever think that that card would have so much meaning a year later? <laughs> no. No, I did not think that. We had, you know, been kind of hanging out January 1st. I just kind of was struggling with breathing normally and feeling like I was overexerting myself. I think he had been feeling poorly for several weeks and it finally got to the point where he knew he had to seek attention and so I just told Taryn, you know, I, I think I need to go to the ER. Went to Medical City McKinney to the emergency room. We got to the ER because it was perceived to be a heart issue. They took me right back, you know, and hooked me up. My heart was operating at 10%, so they contacted this hospital, arranged for me to come down here via ambulance. So Brian had a, a chronic problem with his aortic valve. You know, the surgery was actually probably the easiest part of the case. It was just a pretty straightforward valve replacement. The complicated part of Brian was all the things that surrounded his arrest. He was on extracorporeal membrane oxygen support, ECMO. He had a implantable LVAD or impella device. He was on the ventilator. He received dialysis. Having access to all of this high-end, cutting-edge technology, I think really can make a difference in critically ill patients. That's also one of the benefits of, of a, a hospital like Heart and Spine is that, that access. Other than his valve, he's in excellent shape. I'm tremendously grateful. Everybody was really uniquely caring about what I was going through. As much as they were taking care of my husband through everything, they were also supporting me to make sure that I was able to continue to stay strong for him through the whole time. We treat patients as people and not just diagnosis. And I think that's a family approach that the patients really, they get. It felt like a family. They were they were supporting us. Even nurses that we hadn't worked with in a while knew recent updates with Brian. They knew how far he'd walked in the hallway the day before and encouraging him to just keep on and keep going. Brian is a classic example of what can take place at a hospital that not only approaches patient care from a teamwork, but also has access to cutting edge technology. We try and offer hope to patients uh, to, to care for them and, and care for their families as well.